Okay, so Kelly Marie Tran recently re made an article for the New York Times about her harassment and how she's going to respond to it and who she blames in particular for her being harassed. And it it's a bad article. I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it. This is like the fourth time I've tried to make a video on this. And all three of them have been unsatisfactory. So you know what? I'm just going to go out full on rant mode. That article was a piece of shit. She basically said that people are attacking me because I'm not white. That's legitimately the only reason. That people are go were going after her because I'm not a white person. That is absolutely ridiculous. Alright? Now, this is coming from a guy who defended her. I defended Kelly, Mar uh, Kelly Marie Tran when all this stuff was ha happening. Granted, it, it took me a little bit to make a video on it because, you know, it was just... I didn't know everything about it, and I didn't want to do anything, and while I do realize it was a little late, you know, I just didn't want to just jump out there and start making assumptions about everyone, and knowing what I do know now, and when I made that video a few weeks ago that only six people saw, you know, the Cole Kelly Marie Tran situation, it was, it was dumb, but it was done by a very small amount of people that were just being morons on the internet, okay, this is the internet. Okay, and yeah, some people can't take the can't handle the hate that comes out on the internet. I I can understand people not really able to deal with that pressure though, but still, I think everything could have been avoided if she could handle herself on the internet. And that's not to say that this is all her fault and that she had it coming to her. No, if she wanted to get off of uh, Instagram because people were going after her because of her race and shit, or you know, just to be petty. And I'll get into reasons why I think that a lot of people use it as a petty, as a like a petty thing to go after Star Wars fans. But uh, you know, I just uh, there's a there's just a lot of stuff going going through with this situation, and I I just find it dumb. I just find a lot of it dumb. Uh, Kelly Marie Tran did not do a good job. Do, did not do a good job with this interview or this article at all. She basically said, this is all the fault of white people that are doing this, and then she goes on this bullshit life story stuff about how I have been lied to my entire life by everyone, including my own parents, because we live in a cis-hetero, white, normative world, basically. She didn't exactly say those words, but, you know, she went on this tirade about her parents changed her changed their names because they wanted to fit in, which, obviously, if you're moving to a new country, you want to fit in. That's not... And then there's a bunch of people saying she was being shamed for, like, uh... She was being shamed for, uh, like, you know, being Vietnamese and stuff like that. And she was shamed out of, like, speaking Vietnamese when she was a little kid, even though... You're living in America, what use do you have for speaking Vietnamese? Especially if your parents, who who are adults, could speak better and could speak good English, why would you need to speak Vietnamese and all this stuff? And I and I sympathize with the t some of the things she's talking about, though. Because, like, she talks about, like, you know, ashamed about being Viet Vietnamese and stuff. Like, I can kind of understand, like, being kind of, as a kid, being ashamed of your race. But my big difference is, is I didn't want to be looked upon as on a racial lens she wanted to like to her she wanted to be like a big she wanted her racial identity to, like be a big part of her i did not because you know a lot of people were getting on to me because i had like a i had tan I, one day i came to school and i had really tan skin and a lot of people were like calling me mexican and stuff like that and i was like yeah, i was like you know fine but i wasn't really fine with it at first like i was kind of like you know, a shame. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, I'm not Mexican, even though I probably was. And my dad, dad's Latino, so it's like I was probably Mexican or at least some form of Spanish descent. At least on the part of my real dad, you know, I could be white. I could not be. I could. I, I'm mostly. I'm halfway white at least. My dad, you know, is Latino and stuff like that. So like, I got a guy. Yeah, it's a good amount of Spanish ancestry. So it's like, when I first heard about it, I wasn't necessarily like. In the when I got that flack as a kid, it's like a lot of people they were just being playful with me, but some of them were being assholes. But you know, I just didn't really feel enthused about it. And then you know, but over time, I, like the Ackman said in his uh, gay rant video, it's like 
you can turn it into a humorous thing and not have everybody be complete and other asses to you. Like, you can have people, you can just have it be like an inside joke between you. Say, hey, I'm Mexican, or like, some people went as far as to say, you know, I look like a terrorist, and stuff like that. So I'm just like, yeah, maybe a terrorist, but I can make like some quippy one-liner or something like that. Or yeah, maybe Mexican, but you know, Mexicans get all the ladies or something like that. You can make it into something funny. I, there, if there's one thing I absolutely love about jokes, is that you can basically do it in whatever context. Like, racial jokes are probably some of my favorite jokes ever, and I'm not... And, you know, it's like, I know some people will take it a bit too far and actually make you into a generalization. I do think that, uh, you know, you can find a way around it. You can just, you can just be funny with it. You can just be, you can, you can be funny with it. All right. And that's my whole point is she took everything too seriously. All right. And this was as a kid. And then like, uh, she also used this really, really shitty example of, you know, uh, oh, what, she went to a restaurant with her boyfriend's family, who was white, and then the wait waitress said, Oh, how cute, you have a foreign foreign exchange student with you, and stuff like that, and, uh, and she's like, I felt ashamed, or something like that, and I'm like, The fuck are you talking about? That was an assumption, that wasn't done something purely because of your race. Honestly, looking at that, I would make that assumption in that situation. It's like, you're Asian. Everybody on the table with you is white. Who wouldn't come to the assumption that you may be your foreign exchange student or something like that? I, regardless of the context, like, some people would generally think, holy crap, you look like a foreign exchange student. Right? That's not, that's not something to get upset over. Are you serious? And then she said, then, then, like I said, she came to this really bullshit conclusion that this was, this was, like, everybody was lying to me. My parents, Hollywood, uh, everybody on television was lying to her, basically, about her life. And I was like, no, or like, lying to her about racial, racial issues and stuff like that, or like, how people should be defined, and especially with, like, um, Especially with things like, you know, uh, you know, beauty standards and stuff like that. She said, Pe people see me as beautiful. E people don't see me as beautiful and stuff like that. It, even though, like, I, uh, even though that's what I perceive myself to, look, to be. I perceive myself to be beautif a beautiful person and stuff like that. And like beauty wise, like I, I perceive myself to be beautiful, even though a lot of people don't think that like beauty is, and I have a whole beholder thing. But she keeps blaming it on everybody else. And then she said that throughout her course of her life, she went through a lot of self hate things. I'm starting to think that uh, some of the things I'm not blaming her for everything wrong with her life. I'm just saying some of the things she ma she talks about in her article is an assumption based on what based on her. Like it's not really something based on logic it's based on her view of herself and then she switches it around to this is everything that society has done wrong to me like everybody else in the world should be atoning for or something like that and it, i'm just like it's absolutely ridiculous so and you know and, and like i said it's just it's just a, it's just a lot of crazy shit in this situation that's really ridiculous you know, like I said, her going after an entire demographic of people with basically no evidence is just, it's just telling because a lot of people will brush that shit off or like they'll blame nerd them and then they'll come around again and say even, say it even worse type of context that, you know, this is only, this is only to cater to white men or something like that. Everything has to cater to the white man and that's the only reason this is happening, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're just a Gamergate man, baby bullshit that Ryan Johnson loved to perpetuate and this is honestly also my theory is that Kelly Marie Tran was dragged into Ryan Johnson's petty battle with um Star Wars fans that's honestly what I think is that Ryan Johnson and he did this when this happened is that Ryan Johnson was in a run and gun battle with Star Wars fans and he wanted to do everything he could to legitimize himself in that in that opinion and, and, uh, and that, you know, his film is good, and that everybody who was, you know, 
talking shit about it was wrong and they were like immoral people that needed to be castigated by society because oh you didn't like my movie well you're a little pussy you're a man baby essentially and it's just like Ryan no that's not how this shit works and so uh, just like I said it's just it it's just really irritating and then you know seeing Kelly Marie Tran's response her racially tried response it's just like I can't understand you, okay? I sympathize with her, okay? I can sympathize with her, okay? Because I've lived through some of the things she's lived through. But if you're going to go around and make a really, really, really shitty assumption based on an entire group of people based on a couple of incidents on Twitter, that's really sad. That's really sad, and like I said, that just shows how bad race relations have really gone down the toilet. All right, and she all, and she also said that you know like this is how it's like to be a woman and a woman of color and you know this you know American society. And I'm just like no. An online experience does not equate to you know all this shit. Being an actress, all right? Being an actress, you have more. You have more opportunities than most of the country. You have opportunities more than most of the world, even, that were that aren't available to everybody. Are, are you going to literally come out and say, you're literally going to come out and say, that even though you are an actress and you make more money than most people ever could ever dream to, that, that you deserve preferential treatment based on your race? But that's honestly what I think she's going to come come in here to. And it's like, like I said, it's really fucking irritating. It's really fucking irritating. And it's just like, I really, I, I want to, like, I know, I want to sympathize with her. I really do. Alright, Star Wars only made a good video on this stuff, too, about this. And it's just, like I said, it's just, a, you know, he basically chalks it up to this is a whole bunch of racial bullshit. And I agree with him. Alright, his video on this issue was actually quite good. And... I'm also going to go with Hayden Christensen's response to all this. Because Hayden Christensen, you know, he was the guy who was castigated for playing Anakin Skywalker in the prequels. Or at least old Anakin Skywalker. He did a very good, re detailed response to response to the issue. And he gave her some good advice. He basically said, just ignore the people who are going after you. Because while it seems like the entire world may be going after you, this isn't... This isn't everyone out there like this is only like a few people online and stuff like that it's like most people will stand with you and the thing is Kelly Marie Tran for some reason thinks that everyone's going after her when it's just not the case all right like I said the demographic she's blaming the most for the situation you know white peoples they are the ones who are probably the ones that are most vehemently defending her you know white feminist white soy boys all that type of shit those are the people who are defending her the most and it's just like like I said, it's just really irritating that you can just go out there without any evidence at all. Just go out there and say, white people, this is all your fault. Or it's, like, it's not that, you know, you know, this is just a bunch of stupid morons on Instagram who don't have anything, anything better to do with their time, so they're just going out there being idiots. It's not that. All right, and it's not that, you know, I thank all the people who are Star Wars fans who... You know, defended me through all this. No, you're just gonna say based on an assumption, based on no real evidence at all, and based on some really, really slimsy storytelling on your part, on your past, is it's always been the white people's fault, and there's no way you can change my mind about that. That is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, and then she ended off her article and she said that her real name is Loan and that she is just getting started. And I really wonder what she's getting started with. I really want to know what it is she wants to start with here. All right, because if it's really just trying to cultivate some really bad race shit, then, you know, I, I like I said, this is going to turn into a long-standing issue. And honestly, unless I, I really want to talk to this girl. I, I don't want to insult you personally, Kelly. I am not insulting you personally. I'm. Uh, this is coming from a guy who is mixed, who is white, black, Latino-ish, whatever stuff that's in his veins. As far as me going, me is concerned. 
All right, so I can understand the stuff that you were going through as a kid, but you're an adult. Act like an adult. Don't act like a bitch. Don't act like this is the fault of everybody in the world when it's just the fault of a couple of fucking morons who had nothing the better to do with their time. Then just go out and insult a per person who they don't know personally and could care less because that's just how they do. They're trolls. You need to have a thicker skin about this. Don't just go out there blaming a majority of Star Wars fans, including myself, based on some really, really, really bullshit example that you went through. Alright, please, just have some, like, have some common sense when it comes to this type of stuff. Please. Alright, like I said, I want to be on your side, but, alright, this is the thing Ben Shapiro always says. When it comes to stuff like this. It's like, I want to be on your side. But if you're just going to go out there saying a bunch of bullshit that makes no sense in the actual context of what everything means. Then I have no reason to support you, even if you did go through some stupid shit. So it's just like, I just, I, I really do. I really do want to sympathize. I, I do sympathize with Kelly Marie Tran. I sympathize with her a lot. But I swear... This her response that she did to those that those to those people is nothing more than just generalizing SJW race bait. That's legitimately it. That is the only reason that that article was made. It was just SJW race bait, and you know, like I said, it's just really, really telling to how bad race relations have really gone down the toilet. And, you know, it's just you know, unless we fix something culturally within, like you know, everyone right now in the country unless we find some way to really fix this divide that we have gotten ourselves into honestly I think we're fucked not only as the Star Wars community but even as a worldwide nation of people and as a just a nation of people when it comes to you know the United States because like I said this entire situation with Kelly Marie Tran was ridiculous from the start that Kelly Marie Tran just gave those people relevance she did. She just gave those people relevance. Like, when people go after the KKK, or, like, uh, white nationalists with the ultra-violence, when they're basically doing nothing but standing around being idiots, you're giving them relevance. And Kelly Marie Tran might have accidentally just gave them relevance. It's like, hey, she came after us blaming us just because of being white, even though it's just a bunch of, pu bunch of pu fucking stupid people. And she accidentally just rele made them relevant. Now, whether that actually turns into them having increased relevance in the future, I highly doubt it. Because, like I said, people have generally gotten over this issue. But Kelly Marie Tran hasn't. And, she knows she stayed remarkably silent on the issue for a while. And I was like, I respected her for that. She didn't say anything dumb. She wasn't trying to, you know, do anything stupid like that. I was like, I respect her for that. But then she came out with this. And that basically fucked up everything. That, that basically fucked everything when it comes to this type of stuff. And like I said, this is really the the the, the, uh, the way we're going to be going when it comes to race relations. I'm, and, you know, and when it comes to common human decency. I, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked in the near future unless something culturally happens that can just change this entire situation around. But if people like Kelly Marie Chan keep, you know exacerbating the issue from no, to no end and uh, if, if trolls are keen, being you know given relevance I don't know what to do I really don't know what to do I wish I did all right I want to give a solution to this and my solution is just be decent people actually call out bullshit when you see it and be a decent human being but obviously, in this day of cultural outrage, there's no real way to do that without being being castigated by either side of the political aisle as uncaring. Or as a race traitor or something. And like I said, it's just, it's just really telling as to how far we are going down the toilet in terms of culture. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed... This little rant. I wanted to be be with more yelling, but you know, it's just I couldn't yell. So I, I can't really yell at her, at Kelly for this type of stuff. You know, she's entitled her, entitled to her own opinion, and I think her opinion is absolute bullshit. But she has a right to say it. All right, and it's not like this isn't something that's 
uncommon or unheard of in the in the sphere in the sphere of things, so it's not like she's an outlier or anything. So thank you guys for watching, don't die.